Right guys, good good evening everybody. Right, let me just get my, in fact, before I do start, just um, just bear with me a second guys, because I'm so not prepared. Hey Robin, good to see you. Just bear with me one second. We'll make a start in about 10 minutes. Hi Dina, good to see you. Wow, it's so dark outside, it's crazy, like, it's not even, well, it just got dark about four o'clock. So, uh, have you noticed something? I've put you back in the normal position that I used to be in. I've missed it in this position. And the reason I didn't have it in this position was because, you know how I used to charge my phone up with the wire? Well, I could only, I can only wirelessly charge my phone. And I've got a new charger that it just st sticks to the back of your phone. It's not on TikTok, but I probably could find one. Um, and uh, yeah, it's charging my phone up and it's charging my phone up and it's, uh, I can go live at the same time. So I don't have to keep charging my phone up all the time. So is the Christmas text up? They are up, Kimberly, yes. I will, uh, would you like to have a sneak peek? And I'll show you the Christmas tree. Although I was waiting for some Christmas lights and um, unfortunately they're not going to arrive. So I do have some Christmas lights. Um, in fact, the ones that are over the curtains, actually, I could I could put them on the tree, actually. But I do have some other Christmas lights. Um, but I'm just, just cleaning, I'm just washing up at this, at this moment. So just bear with me, guys. I'm just going to try and uh, get everything ready. And then what we're going to make tonight, we're going to do some fajitas. So we're going to do some chicken fajitas. The chicken, actually, <laughs> is actually... Uh, a little bit frozen, but because I'm going to be cutting it up using this gadget. Oh, thank you so much, Robin, for the uh, squirrel award. Thank you so much. Hey, Swift Pete, it's good to see you. I know you came on earlier. I saw you briefly earlier. Thank you so much for the squirrels. Thank you so much, guys. So you must have either missed me being in the kitchen because I have not done a live stream in the kitchen. Wow, 70 squirrels, Robin. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, I was on earlier. I did a Wordscape broadcast, then I did the uh, Cyber Monday deal at 12 o'clock this afternoon <laughs> and um, with this watch that I've got, I'll just show you there. This is a new watch, the TikTok watch. It's absolutely brilliant, this watch. So shall I, shall I, I'll just add it on just in case because I'll, I'll give, do a little demo. I've already pinned it up anyway, so there you go. Get your Cyber Monday deals and this here, this is a scarf. This is a heated scarf. It's absolutely brilliant. So you put your power bank in, plug it in, and uh, switch it on. Obviously, it's not going to switch on because I've got no nothing in there. But anyway, we're here for the cooking tonight. So I'll go through some of the items at the end. Then I'll probably give you a glimpse of the Christmas tree and um, um, what else? And the lights. So uh, should we make a start then, guys? What shall I... Uh... What shall I do first? Because I'm thinking about doing some chips first. Let's do some chips first. So I've got my chopping board. I'm going to spin you down. <laughs> You've all missed me, haven't you? Can you all see that, guys? Here we go. Right, so we're going to use the new chopper. This is the new chopper. I've not even... I've not even... This is the new chopper, guys. This is brilliant. Oh, there's a bit of a light, isn't there? This is what happens at winter because of... I don't always put the Christmas light on. This is the new chopper, guys. It's absolutely brilliant. Let me just... Um... <laughs> Let me just add it up because I forgot to... I'm only adding up things that I've actually got on the screen, not things that I haven't. Uh, so this is the new vegetable chopper. And I've not been on for ages. I've found that a lot more people watch the videos rather than watching the cooking live. So I feel like people do miss out on that. Um, so this is a little bit more pricey, guys, this chopper than the other one, because it's a new one. And I'm going to pin it up. There you go. So it's got a lid on the top. So you can cover this over. It's got new pieces. So I'm just going to lift this up like so. So you've got your tradition, you've still got your, you know, your blades and things. I'm going to, do I use that blade? Yeah, I think we'll make, and I made big thick chips last time. You've got a little compartment tray which goes 
and just put on the top. So once you've done your potatoes or things, you can you can do extra things and then put them on the top, or you can uh, divide it like this. So go that way. No, this way. That's it. So you can have it like that. So we're going to do some uh, some chips, guys. So we're going to pop this on. Lift this up. We're gonna, we've got loads of different blades, so this is what it all comes with, <laughs> so many different blades. So let's go with the chip one. So many different ones. Well, these are the new pieces, you can do like thin strips, little squares. That's one, two, three, four, five, that's eight, all that one. That's what it normally comes with, so uh, I will do the, we'll do the normal ones. We'll do the normal ones, so I'll remove them. Right, let's get these going. So we slot that on. Right, let's get some potatoes. So how's everybody today? What have we all been up to today? I'm gonna let that chicken just defrost a little bit, a little bit more. Hey, I'm good to see you. All right, let's do these. So I still like to cut my potatoes. So I'm gonna cut these in half. And I find that it just cuts better. So you take your potato, slot it on, do it on an angle, and then push it down. This is the new vegetable chopper. So let's push it through. There we go. And we've got nice chips. Slot this on, push it through. Remember, I'm on the cooker, so <laughs> I've gone back to using the cooker again. Push it through, do it this way. Oh, one minute, one minute. Oops. <laughs> one second, guys. Definitely on properly. Don't want to break it, do I? There we go. Right, how many do I do? I'll just do one more. These are quite big potatoes, aren't they? So I'm just going to slice down. Lift this up. Hi, Melanie, good to see you. So, slot this on. It's so cold and very foggy outside here. I'll sit right where you are because. So, this is an absolute brilliant gadget. Let's lift this up. And there we go. We've got our. Look at them, fresh chips. So, all perfectly cut, all the same size. I'm going to pop these in some water. <clears throat> so, fill this with some water. because they let make them extra crispy, you see. I've just filled it with hot water by mistake. Let's fill it with some cold. There we go. Oh, and I've missed one. So, it's even got little handles at the side. So, uh, what delights have we now, says Melanie. Where do you keep all the gadgets? <laughs> oh, my, Anne, I'm, lo I'm losing, I'm losing space. So I'm just going to do one more because I've got half the potato here. But this is my favourite. This is my favourite gadget now. Although yesterday I was using the juicer and that was brilliant as well. So slot this on. Push it through. <clears throat> just got to be careful because I'm on the cooker. <clears throat> push, push, push. One minute, one minute, one minute. With all chips in the in the in the sink in a second if I don't do this on a flat surface. One second. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it again. It just depends on the size of your potato, really. It's gotta it's gotta fit. So I can show you now, guys. <clears throat> right, I just cut that potato. Look, it's not the best. This is why I I got a tripod, you see, and I'm not using it today. Go, that's oh well it's not done a good job. What on earth? Why is, let me do it on a flat surface. Right, nearly there. Come on. There we go, I've done it, I've done it. 
So there we have it guys. I'm just going to lift this up. And then you can just lift this out. And then we got all nice chips there. So <laughs> yeah, what, what was happening was the, um, because of the size, you see here, look, it's got to fit the size of the potato. And that's why I make them longer, but it was still quite thick at the bottom. So it got stuck. So, but yeah, I absolutely love this. So, right. So that's the chips. Now let's do the chicken. So I'm going to move this to one side and we're going to use this next. This is a meat chopper. Absolutely brilliant for cutting up chicken. It's got two detachable blades which you can take off, but I'm not going to take that off. So you, all you do is you get your piece of chicken. You don't even have to cut it up. Slightly concerned that this is frozen still, but once it defrosts, once it's all cut up, it'll defrost a bit quicker because we're doing chicken fajita. So what I'll do is I'll leave it in here. I will leave it in here once it's all been cut up and it should defrost a bit quicker. Never cook. Well, you can cook raw chicken. You can cook frozen chicken, but you've got to do it in an air fryer. And you know, you know what I mean? You've got to cook it in the right place. So that's the chicken. We're going to cut this up. And this is manual, so you just slot this on the top. Get the slot on. And we're going to pull it, guys, with the ring. So here we go. Are you ready? Three, two... Right, see what it looks like? Yep, here we go. Let's pull it. Oh, why is this not moving now? come off that's why just make sure it's slotted on is it gonna work here we go it's working this time you see it moving oh oh my goodness <laughs> it's come off just be careful I'll try not to break it <clears throat> Right, let's try again. Here we go. So what I'm doing chicken fajitas, uh, Anne. So what I want to do, oops. I think I've broken it. Oh no. I hope I'm not broken it. Has it just come off? I think it's just come off. Let's just try it with one piece of chicken. Oh no. I did say some of it's frozen in the middle, didn't I? So I'm just checking I've not broken the actual thing. <laughs> Bear with me. <clears throat> what a disaster. But this is what's entertaining. My life's always entertaining with anything that I do. Yeah, that's completely frozen in the middle still. But I'm going to test it out. So once it's defrosted, I'm just checking I've not broken the, the actual cord. <laughs> I don't think I have, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully I've not snapped it. So at least you know, though, if you get one of these, never to use it with frozen chicken. I don't. I hope I've not snapped it. Oh yeah, I think, I think I've snapped it. Oh no, no, it's not going. Maybe one of them I've broken. <laughs> I think that's just come off now. Well, there you go. There's a lesson for you. Never, never try to cut frozen chicken up. Unless it's just not moving. Let me just move that chicken out again. Yeah, it was never going to cut, was it? I'm just checking I've not broken the thing. Yeah, I've broken it. <laughs> oh well, I will uh, try and look into that and see if I can fix it. Is it just this that's come off?
So yeah, never try it with frozen chicken. I think that's the lesson. What am I like, I know. Anyway, right, we'll move on. Let me just quickly wash my hands. I guess we'll go to the old fashioned way and cut it up. But it is frozen still, so let's cut it up. Right, where's my <coughs> bowl? Right, let's do it the old fashioned way. I'll have a look. I probably can fix that somehow. So not, not to worry. But yeah, this chicken's still frozen. So. But we'll use scissors because I like to use scissors. There we go. But yeah, it's not. We're not going to be able to cook cook it straight away because it's going to need to de be defrosted. I just thought it wasn't as frozen in the middle. But yeah, that's. It's been defrosting all day. But yeah, don't use it for frozen food. <laughs> that's our that's the lesson learnt. Uh, hello Gordon Ramsay says Kevin, good to see you Kevin. Everyone follow Kevin if you haven't done so already. So I should have cut this up this morning really. And it would have been perfect. Yeah, this is not gonna get cooked. So I've got three big chicken breasts here. I can't believe that's happened. But that was my own mistake, really. I might be able to fix it though. Oh, thank you for the coffee, Anne. <laughs> See, actually, some of this is not too bad. Some of this ain't too bad. What's that say? Uh, I hear Gordon Ramsay is commenting. Oh no. <laughs> I heard, I, it, was it Melanie that you sent it to me, didn't you? That video where Gordon Ramsay was reviewing somebody on TikTok. And he were, but the, the only people he reviewed were people he didn't like or it was, it was things that had gone wrong. But yeah, maybe he's watching this one and he might say in the future, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Cutting up chicken with a, a rotary, a rotary cutter. I really like that as well. I hope we can fix it. Right, so that's two chicken breasts. I, I like to cook all the chicken off. I don't like leaving just chicken on its own. Yes, you can freeze it, but you know, only if you've just bought it. I'm not gonna refreeze it, so it has to then be eaten within a few days. So I just prefer to just cut it all up. Oh, I tend to just cook it off. So, do you like the scarf, by the way, guys? I love this scarf. I had it on earlier today, and I've actually... I have just put my heating on, because it is bitterly cold today. I've heard we're getting temperatures. And get ready for this, because we're getting a blast of cold air from the north. And it's coming our way around the 11th of December. I think you'll get it before us. But yeah, we're getting extreme temperatures coming in about two weeks, which means we might get a white Christmas. We might just get an, a white Christmas. I think what I'm going to do is cook the chicken off. That's not frozen. You can you can cook frozen chicken in a pan. You just have to make sure it's fully cooked, like proper. You can't obviously if it's completely frozen. You're going to get different temp. You're going to have to get different timings for different temperatures, but I've got the smart probe so I can check each piece. That's the problem. Making sure it's all cooked. Okay, so that's all the chicken cooked. <laughs> cooked, cut. So there we go. Now let's wash my hands. Always wash your hands. You're getting your first snow today, Kevin, in Washington State. You got some snow though a couple of weeks ago, I think, didn't you? Because I follow... Um, there's a couple who are travelling around the world in a camper van and they YouTube it called uh, Tread the Globe and they were in Washington and then they went to, um, where did they go? They went to, well they went to the Arctic Circle, Arctic, and then they drove down and then they stayed in Vancouver and then they went across onto the Vancouver Island and then they're, they're now 
the videos are up to date. Oh, thank you, Robin, for all these Christmas shopping awards. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much, Robin. And uh, then they went down. They were now going across Illinois, but this was like a few weeks ago. So, yeah, in the mountains, in the mountains. So uh, I follow them all the time, and they're really, really good. It's a really good channel to watch because they. I, I started following them when they're in Turkey, when they were going around Turkey, and you know, because I go there on my holidays and things. So oh, I hope I can fix this. Does anyone know these? Can you fix these? I mean, it's just the the string that's. Maybe I can open this up and have a look. I need to wash my hands again. Hmm. <laughs> uh, that was my own fault though, wasn't it? Yeah, so this this is a scarf. This is the, the heated scarf. I'm not getting chicken on it. It's that bit there, you see. So if I can somehow fix that, then I should be all right. I right, put it in the sink. Right, so we've got our chicken. Should we do the fajitas? Let's do the fajitas because even if I put it on a low temperature, then they're going to cook, aren't they? So, right, here we go then. And then we'll do the chips. I'm trying to think, is there anything else I need to show you? Um, probably there's so many other things to show you, but <laughs> right. So we're going to get a pan. I've got my pan. I'm going to spin you down. Let's get cooking. So... Thank you so much, Robin. I do appreciate any awards that you send. Thank you so much. So here we go then. Let's put the pan on. I'm gonna get this heated up. So what's everybody else having tonight for their for their meal? Let me know in the comments. Uh, oh, there is something I wanted to show you. Um, so I've got this new oil bottle and it's a special deal, guys as well uh, i've not linked it up but this is the have you seen this bottle guys it's got a little brush i'm not going to use it today because i've got the oil in the other one but this is an oil little oil spritz it's not a spritzer but it's just a you turn it down to put your oil and then it goes into here and then you can squeeze it the amount of oil you need and then just use the brush now there's a deal where if you were going to buy this for those in the uk if you're going to buy this, it's it's about three pounds fifty, but you have to pay delivery, which is about two pounds. So if you wanted to get free delivery, if you spend ten pounds more, you, there's a there's a bundle, and you can get like um, you can get sp there's like this, these spoons, there's these clips, soap flakes, these bags, uh, there's loads of stuff. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna add it up. Just because I've not added it up, before. as I said, I'm showing you stuff that I've actually just showing you now. So it's seventeen pounds thirty four pence, and you can get this bottle and you can get a bundle. So there's loads of it's kind of like a New Year bundle. So if you're looking to like just for a new oil bottle or, and I will be using this in a few weeks. I just want to get through this oil that I've put in here. I think you get one of these as well. So. Uh, yeah, do check it out guys check out the deal there we go so i'm going to pop this down put it back in its box i think he's really clever 180 milliliters that one okay right let's put some oil in here and then they get this chicken going so there we go and this is glass as well this is a glass glass jar glass bottle Right, let's get the chicken in. There we go. Right, where's my... Uh... I'll use the wooden spoon today. I'll use the wooden spoon. Well, there's a piece of chicken there that I need to, to cut up. Right, I need to get my air fryer on as well and do the chips. So, uh... did you just say a feather float down? I saw that as well. Did you see the feather? I saw the feather, yeah. It's not on the floor, so it's not a feather, but I did see a feather. Yeah, did you see it? I saw it and I was, I was like, is that something on the screen? Yeah, I saw it, Melanie. I saw it. I wasn't going to say anything, but yeah, there's, a, there's definitely a spirit here right now. And I don't know where it's come from. 
But yeah, I'll be watching that. I'll be watching that back. It did appear, didn't it? It did. I wasn't going to say anything. Right, let's just cut up that piece of chicken there. Cause let me just wash up while I'm while it's starting to heat up. Yeah, I wonder who that was. Thank you, my guardian angel. Probably because they've not seen me live for ages. <laughs> That's what it is. You know, cooking. Yeah, you saw it as well. And the robin's still there as well. Yeah, it's been a strange day today. It's weather-wise and, you know. Yeah. See, angels do exist. If it was an angel, I believe it was an angel. Somebody's, somebody's up there. So I'm just washing up at the same time. Robin's still there, yeah. So we need a name for this goose. So I did a video this morning and I posted it up. We need a name for the goose. Now Melanie's suggestion was, uh, was it Jemima? Jemima? What do you reckon to Jemima the goose? Did I say duck? I meant to say goose. Pop your suggestions in the box. Right, let's just clean up those dishes. I've not even cut up the onions yet, or the peppers. I forgot to do that. I, I, I didn't even show you where it's coming. This is this is what we're doing tonight. Fajitas. Love fajitas. Smoky barbecue, flour tortilla, Tomato salsa, smoky flavour barbecue and a fajita seasoning. So yeah, it says slice the chicken, peppers and onions. Um, cook for eight minutes, but obviously I want to make sure this chicken is fully cooked. With some of it being frozen. So I'm going to get this cooking. Yeah, no pink bits remain and we need to also, I'll use the smart probe as well. Check the temperature of it. I've actually got fats, I've even got the meat thermometer here. It's ages since I've been live, I can't... It's really weird. Because normally I've been doing videos and... I think even my pans... Saying to me, you've not cooked for a long time. Right, let's do these onions. Cut up some onions. Shall I lift the camera up? Go on, I'll keep... Hopefully I don't burn the wire. <laughs> if you can see. There we go. How's that? Is that okay? All right, let's do some onions. Onion time. Peppers time. So it's a mess, guys. I've not had time to sort it out. Right, shall we use... Oh, sliding down. What are you doing there, guys? <laughs> Haven't had them for a long time. So we're going to use green and yellow peppers, I think. Green and yellow peppers. So green. And yellow. these up. We're not going to use the dicer. Or do we use the dicer? No, we'll just do it manually. I need to get them chips on. Can you all see me? You can't see me, can you? <laughs> right, let's cut the onion up. Oh, don't fall over. There we go. I'll take the skins off. I love fajitas. What's your favourite? What's your favourite like type of fajita? Let me know in the comments. Right, take this one off as well. What do I use the chopper? Oh, I can't connect it. Well, I could actually. I can use the new piece that goes on the top. <laughs> I put that now. I can't. I don't know where it is. 
Where's it gone? Hmm. Did I put it at the bottom? Oh no. Yeah, when you put stuff down, there it is. Right, we're going to use this this piece. So it goes on the top, and then I can put the onions through. Are we all ready for Christmas, guys? Are we ready for Christmas? We got our Christmas trees up. This just should just save a bit of time. Choppy choppy time. Can be a little tough sometimes. There we go. I'm just going to show you what it looks like in just a moment. So quick, so quick. You love barbecue chicken for here's. Yeah, they're my favourites as well. Although Aldi, the supermarket, they do these really nice like uh, Indian ones, like Indian wraps, which I really like. So I'm just going to show you what's what, what's happened now, what I've just done. So I put that lid underneath, you see? And I just cut the onions up using the top part. And underneath here, as you can see, is the potatoes in the water. So it means I don't have to take them out, put them in a separate bowl, you know, and then do everything do all your veggies at the top. So let's. Obviously, some have just dropped in just because there's a hole in the middle, but I think it's a really great idea. So if you want the the new chopper, then it is available. Yeah, I think it's funny with the heaters because. It's one of them things, if you've not had them for a long time, you do you do forget about them. But I like fajitas all time of the year. Like when it's, I, I do like a lot of like soups, casseroles, stews at this time of year. But I do like you know some quick quick meals. Quick meals are, are good as well. And I just had some chicken, and I thought. Let's do fajitas. So I really want this chicken to be cooked. So I'm going to leave it as long as I possibly can before even adding the onions in, because that'll give it the extra time. So at least another five, 10 minutes before I even add the onions in. So let's do the peppers. That's, I'm going to take it out and put it in a bowl just because it's, it's all chopped up. Could really get the chips on as well. Oh, you can even lift it out. I don't know why I'm even. Oh, just try not to drop it into the water like this. Look. So just lift it out. And you've got your onions. It's so easy. Right, let's do the peppers. Uh, do I use the chopper for this? Yes, I might as well. Right. Okay. Choppy, choppy. So don't forget as well, Melanie is on at, I think Melanie you're on at nine o'clock tonight? Probably say yes. You know I'm on at nine o'clock, Aiden. <laughs> but on the not not on this app, on a different app. So pop your pop your details up, Melanie, so people can follow you. And is Anne still there? I'm not sure if Anne's still there or not. Because it's that time you see when everyone's cooking. So we do all. Uh, a lot of us do cook at the same times, just because it's lunchtime in like in the East Coast. And lots of uh, you know, we're all cooking, aren't we? I mean, there's always a reason to cook, isn't there? Lunch time and evening meal, breakfast time. Did 
This chopper is really good. It's just that there's a certain hack to it. Like putting the skins down first, making sure the pieces are all the right size. Sometimes, in fact, I'm, I'm even going to just do strips. I'm just going to do some strips. Pop them with the, uh, the onions. The longer that chicken's cook, cooking, I'm, I'm happy. Some green. Did I do the green ones? Where did I put the green pepper? Ah, oh, it's behind. It was hiding. So, what's my plans for Christmas Day? Well, in fact, that's a funny question you asked this year because I'm not actually going to my parents for Christmas Day this year. Well, that's not in the not in the not in the pipeline. I will see them over Christmas, but not actually on Christmas Day. And that's for the first time in 32 years. First time ever. So. But I will see them, but there's lots of events I'm going to, like I'm going to Nottingham to their Christmas market. I'm going to probably York Christmas market. I do like York. What do you think guys? That, do you think that's okay to eat? Yes or no? I think it's just it's just changing colour because it goes from green to yellow, doesn't it? I think that's fine. It's not that it's off. Okay, let me just stir the, the chicken. The reason I say that is because it has been in the fridge longer than it should. But it's green, it's green, that's why. Uh, take your nebs, I can't hear you now. Okay, Melanie, no worries. So we'll just get them in there. Oh, chicken's looking lovely. Okay, just a second. In fact, you probably can see it because there's a lot of steam in the kitchen. So we'll just sure that chicken's fully cooked. There we go, I did it this time. So it's really easy to clean guys, you just put it in the sink, take out the pieces that you don't, you know, you're wanting to wash, and then you get a little brush to brush that out. Because this piece, on the old one it, it came out, but this one doesn't come out. At least, even though it's got a clip, I think it might come out, but I don't want to break it and try, so it's just really stuck but it could be because it's really new so really really easy just put it in a sink of water and it'll all come out anyway and then you can get the pieces out i know it's steaming up <laughs> it's steaming up we're steaming we're steaming we're steaming we're steaming Really shouldn't. Have. This is why I never. This is why I got the tripod because it, you you couldn't always see the food because it kept steaming up, didn't it? So let me just cut that big piece of chicken. Where's it still? I think the smaller the chicken piece is, the quicker it will it will cook. And then we're going to add some spices on here, and it's going to taste amazing. And then what I want to do is start doing some uh, some of the pot recipes. Melanie sent me a book for my birthday. It was the Jamie Oliver one, wasn't it? And there's, there's so many recipes in there. I just haven't haven't got round to it yet because a lot of factors, you know, costs and uh, ooh, there's a bit of a bit of bone in that. Be careful! Look like there's a bit of cartilage. Probably saying, ooh, when I cut into it, I'm going to bin that. Not a lot, just a little bit of chicken. All right, it's all cooking away. It smells really good. Can't see me from the steam. <laughs> We're getting there. Right, so, got my peppers. I'm going to drain this off. These starchy water. And if you're watching this on a replay, because I probably will upload this to uh, other websites, you can watch this. Then do let me know. Send me a message. Just say I'm watching you, Aiden. <laughs> Should have a code word, shouldn't I? Send the word squirrel twenty three, 
as the code word. <laughs> I don't know. As a code word. Maybe maybe that could be like a discount code or something. Right, let's take this out. And drain the water off. There you go, look. That's the starchy water. That's that's how much starch you get out of potatoes. Crazy, isn't it? Drain that off. And then pat these dry and then they go in the air fryer. So uh, this chicken's looking good. Let's spin you that down. Okay. Sorry for the steam. Do you have any paper towel? I don't have any paper towel. Um because I've moved everything in this kitchen, I'm not actually sure where everything is now. Well, I do, but I've got to climb up to it and, and get stuff. So, but you can just drain off all that excess oil. In fact, I will do that because I do prefer to do that. So I'll have to... Just try, and, try and get the... Pat, give me a second. Really quick option, really quick option, tissue paper. As long as the meat is all pushed to one side, you're not going to get any tissue. Just let it drip to the bottom. Just let it absorb. And it's better than getting all that oil. Just get it out, put it in your sink. But make sure there's no tissue obviously on the on the brush. Just give it a clean. Just a really quick option. Make sure there's no tissue paper. You don't want to be eating that of course. That looks fine to me. Okay. Do I need to clean the screen? Are we all still there guys? There we go. Yes, can't do anything about the steam, but I just want it this I want this fully browned off before I even add any of the fajitas, uh, any of the peppers and onions. Because it was there were some pieces that were really frozen. So let's let that cook away. Now let's have a look in the in the box. Let me lift you up. Okay, so in the fajita box then what have we got? So we've got in here some tortilla rolls, we've got some uh, salsa in a pack, and we've got the barbecue spice mix, although sometimes they put the wrong one in, I don't know if this is the barbecue one or not, sometimes they put the wrong one in whether they can get the stock or not, but it's funny if they... Oops. That's just reminding me to have a drink. Um, so I'll get rid of this recycle. But I do want this chicken to be slightly brown. It smells amazing. Hello Lucy, welcome in. Hello Davy. Welcome in guys. I have missed cooking live. I have missed cooking live. I just have enjoyed doing the videos as well. So I think what I will do is do like so many lives and then do some videos and then do so many lives and do some videos. It just depends on, because we are going into Christmas now. So you want to see things live, I'm guessing. Right, we're starting to get a bit of a brown on there. So I'm going to pop some of this spice on. I always put it on the chicken, just a little bit. Add it to the chicken first. You can't see this. So add it to the chicken first and stir it. So it starts to burn some of the spices off. And then we'll add the peppers in. OK. 
And then a bit more oil in this as well. Clean oil, not oil that's come from the chicken. Let's get all this in. Okay. And this is all, these onions were chopped using the vegetable chopper. As you're aware. Let's get a little bit of oil in here. I use the oil glass bottle. Just a spray. Really like this new bottle. And we'll add some more spices. Yes. Don't add it all at once, because a lot of people add it all at once. Try and keep the chicken on the bottom if you want it to cook longer. And there we have it guys, it's getting there. Abby says, how are you already cooking tea? I'm still at work. <laughs> I know I'm a little bit earlier today, but it is just gone five o'clock now, so. So, as I say, I wanted the, cookie, the chicken to cook longer because it was partly frozen. I've broken my, uh, my uh, manual cutter. I had a feeling that was going to happen, though, at some, not just before I started the broadcast, but whilst I was thinking, well, maybe I shouldn't use it for, for frozen chicken. So, but I didn't know it was fully frozen. I had a feeling it was frozen still, but not fully. So, just remember to leave your, let your chicken fully defrost before using any manual cutters. I think if it was an electric one, it would have been fine. I think it would have been all right, but. So now we've added the peppers and the onions, it's gonna take at least another 10 minutes. Let's get some more spices on here. Smells so good. And just mix it all in. So I'm going to let this sit for about 10 minutes or so. Let's lift the camera back up. So. I've not really got anything else to tell you really, um, nothing, obviously Christmas is coming up soon. Do you want to see the Christmas lights? I think my phone's charged up a bit now. Let's show you the Christmas lights while this is cooking. Come with me guys. Oops. Idea. Oops. So let's show you these uh, Christmas lights. Oh, I don't know if that was somebody at the door. Oh, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if that's a delivery or not for someone, or is it for me? Not sure. Oh, and it's Amazon. Right, let's show you these Christmas lights then. So, let me just add them up first. Uh, so, shop, add, um, and they should be at the top. Here they go. I'm just going to pin them up. So, these are the Christmas lights. You might have seen a video of of these. So if I flip the camera around, enhance, flip. So you've got a USB, can't really see it, USB here. I plug it into a power bank because this is charged up. And then once you plug this in and you press the button, there's the lights. What do we think guys? You wanna see the Christmas tree? Here's the Christmas tree. This is the Christmas tree, guys. I was getting some Christmas lights for this tree, but um, you know, like ones that are actually lower power. So you can just use yeah, like USB ones with control through an app. So I'm still, I don't know if I'm gonna be getting them or not, but this is my Christmas tree, guys. Once it's all lit up, it's gonna look amazing. Dina, if you recognize that, that's from Florida, and there should be a, a sleigh bell one as well. I don't know where the sleigh bell one is. I think it's maybe it's on the other side. Where did I put it? It's in there somewhere. And these here, these are little chocolate balls. Little chocolate snowballs. So yeah, I really like these lights. 
So you can just pull them across. And there's a little remote control as well. A little control that you can change them. Where have I put the remote control? <laughs> I actually, oh, it's on the table. So here we go, different settings. There we go. So this is the remote control. So first setting, second, third, fourth, fifth. I like number five. Number six. It just depends on your mood, I think. How you know which which setting you want. Seven. That's a bit too much. <laughs> An eight. That's. And I've even got look. The these are from um, Official Flower. Absolutely gorgeous. I've got those on my Christmas tree. So I wonder if I, have I got them on the. Let me see if I can find them. See if I can find them. But yeah, really nice Christmas. Put the. I need to go and check the chicken in just a second, guys. Uh, they're in there somewhere anyway. They're they're in the shop, so that's that's all I can say. I, I struggle to. Oh, there they are. There they are. There you go. I've just found it. So where's it gone? Pin. There you go. You can even get little Grinch ones as well. Gorgeous, aren't they? Right, let's go and check the chicken then. I'm going to turn these off. It's even a little timer. So turn them off. Right, let's flip the camera around. Enhance. I, t I like to turn things off if I'm not if I'm not in the room. Right, flip the camera. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I always find it difficult. There we go. Right. So let's go back into the kitchen. Oh, let's have a look at the chicken. Enhance flip. I was mirrored then, weren't I? So, oh yeah, this is looking good. I'm burning the pan a little bit, so I'm going to add a little bit of water. I should add a bit of water. There we go, one second. Right, a tiny bit of water. That's it. It'll just lift up all of the... It'll use steam as well to cook the veggies. Some of that flavour as well. Oh yeah, it's looking good guys now. And it'll also help cook that chicken. Hyper Sniper, welcome in everyone, welcome in to the broadcast. So it just lifts up that flavour off the, the bottom of the pan. Yeah, smells really good. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook the chips a bit later. I'm not going to do them on this broadcast. Um, oh, that's kind of getting on the floor. What on earth is that? That's one of the strings, I think one of the, uh, one of the baubles, snow baubles, chocolate ones have just come off. So if I find that, I'll have to eat it, won't I? <laughs> so in here we've got onions, we've got chicken, all the spices, the peppers. Smells really good. Right, just bear with me guys a second. One second. Right, I'm back, guys. Uh, oh, no worries, Melanie. No worries. So yeah, it's just taking longer tonight because of the chicken that was frozen. So, but I just want to make sure it's fully cooked. Now, not all peppers need to be soft, so you can actually have hard vegetables in a fajita. That's totally fine. I am going to put on my air fryer because I do want the tortillas. To be nice and warm, so I'm just trying to tidy up at the same time. Put stuff away. The most important thing, whenever you're live streaming and cooking, is not to uh, burn things or put stuff down next to, you know, like the oven if it's hot. 
and you don't have a lot of space. Oh, this smells really good. Uh, welcome back Swift Beats. But yeah, another another five minutes that'll be done. I'm gonna keep the temperature on a on a sort of medium. Um, right, let's plug in my air fryer. I think that's the air fryer. Yep. Now the air fryer actually is a year old. It's actually a year old. So it was his birthday on Saturday. So <laughs> those that have followed me since since last year. We started using him on hats, but it's actually a she, it's called Melanie. <laughs> Melanie's gone now though. But yeah, so the air fryer gets used pretty much all the time. And then what I'm going to do is just put my tortilla wraps in. So I'm just going to warm these through for 30 seconds. And just grab up some scissors. These are going to taste amazing. So I'm going to warm just two. I'm going to warm at the same time. You can put them in the microwave as well. So I'm going to pop these in. Although, don't make the mistake I've done sometimes when I've taken this out. Yes, it doesn't look as, as, as clean. It does get cleaned properly, but like once every few months. So I've done it about four times. Like deep clean this, but it just wants drying off first. And I've not put that into the machine once. <laughs> it's crazy, absolutely crazy. And I've realised afterwards, and I thought I nearly caused a you know a fire. Yeah, air fryers are brilliant, aren't they? Have you got some of these, Robin? Let me just show you in a second. Get this in. Oh no, why can't I get this on today? I've never had any issues before because I've not. There we go. Have you got some of these air fryer baskets? These are silicon baskets. They're absolutely brilliant. These for cooking meats, specifically meats. I would use these for because all the oil drips to the bottom through these, and it gives you a nice grill marks on the bottom. Um, but it also cooks the meat. So because air air fryers circulate the air around the machine. It doesn't come up from the bottom unless you're using the actual bottom tray. So when if this is heated up, you know, preheat these, you'll still get the same effect. The air the air around it cooks. It doesn't come up from the bottom, it comes from the side. So it just goes directly into these trays and they're absolutely brilliant. So I think they're on offer at the minute for about five five to eight pounds for a pack of two. Absolutely brilliant. So do check that out guys. Oh, a bit more water for the the pan and then I'm actually going to turn these off now if the pan gets really hot I should have turned it down actually but yeah this is definitely cooked it smells so good so do you, are you in the UK Robin I can't remember if you're in the UK but I'll just add them up on the screen if you want to have a look it's steaming up in here there we go oh they've gone back up in price but I don't know if what it's what it says at the checkout but do check that out. There you go. Just pinned it up on the screen. So, right, just moving the camera down because it's getting steam, steamed up in here. Probably should move it. Let's get the air fryer on. Just for 30 seconds to warm that through. Let me just turn the volume, the volume, turn the temperature down, the timer down. One minute. Right, let's get the. Uh, you're in the UK, yeah, so you should see the link basically at the bottom because it's only those in the in the UK that can see the, the shopping basket at the bottom. So if you tap that you can you can find all the details and things for it. So right, let's get a plate. Let's get a plate, make some vegetables. Smell amazing. I'm gonna have to show you like this. Welcome back Kevin! Just waiting for their tortillas to to cook to uh, toast, and then we'll do the fajitas. And then I'm going to put the chips in. They take about 20 minutes, so I'm not going to stay on for 20 minutes. 
Yeah, these should be nice and warm now. Oh, one of them got stuck to the to the top, so just be careful. There we go, there's one. So we're going to take our mixture, our chicken in here. Oh, look at that. Mmm. We've got peppers, onions. Do you, I actually like mine with cheese as well. Oh, rolling away. Should we put a bit of should we put a bit of cheese on it? What do you think? And then we're just going to roll these up. Okay, is there a proper way to do a fajita? <laughs> mixture looks really nice. So it's just a barbecue mix. You can't see what I'm doing because I don't have a lot of space, but just fold it in at the sides. And then you can, you can actually fold it over and roll it. it there's loads of different ways to, to make fajitas really, but I'm just going to do it, do it my way. So I'm going to fold it over, fold it over like this tuck it in and then fold it back over and fold it the sides or fold it in the sides before rolling it and there you have your perfect fajita see what I've done there at the side so let's have a little taste oh we'll do another one let's do another one and with this one I'm going to put some uh, some salsa in this one I don't always have salsa, but yeah, just look at that. So the salsa, where is the salsa? I've lost the salsa. There it is. I also like um, sour cream as well. Sour cream or cheese. So good. All right, where's my scissors gone? Oh, I used them, didn't I? So I'll just have to use a knife. Try not to cut myself. Here we go, I'm just going to show you. You want to see? Here we go. Oh, yes. Try not to get it on my uh, scarf. Oh, yes, look at that, guys. What do we think? Let me know in the comments. All right, let me just preheat my air fryer. Well, even though it's been cooking, but for the chips, air fry. 22 minutes. I'm going to use my tray. I'll test these out. All right, so let me just roll this up. I'm really sorry, I'm not used to using the camera. Use the camera for ages, you know, for live streaming. So let's roll this up and we'll have a taste. So I'll fold it over, tuck it in at the sides, and roll it over. So here we go then, let's have a taste. Here we go. Mmm. That guys is so good. I've even got some sauce, like Sweet Baby Ray's. I might have a bit of, a bit of that. Oh my God, absolutely gorgeous guys. That chicken's cooked perfectly as well. So guys, that is it. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for the awards. I'm going to do the chips now. Um, but my next broadcast will be tomorrow, 10am, with the Wordscape. So I shall see you all then. Thank you for so much for tuning in. So whatever you're doing this evening, enjoy your evening. I'm going to go and eat this meal now. So I'll see you next time. Take care guys, thanks for following, see you next time, bye!